Hi, this is Bilal from techtoggle.com. Today I am going to share a small tutorial with you about the animation in 3D Studio Max 9. Well, if you have got the older version of 3D Studio Max 9, uh, like 7 or 8, I am sure this tutorial will do the work on those versions also. The first step is to reset all the previous uh, workspaces. Then select the plane, square type. This is the plane upon which you will draw all the other objects. Give it a nice uh, grassy color. Here we go. The next step is to draw a car, a vehicle which will be colliding with a wall, a brick wall. Next is, is to produce a small brick. Here we go. We created our first small brick. Now the next step is to select the move tool, <coughs> hold on the shift key and make sure there is a pro appropriate distance between the two bricks. Now it will ask you for the number of copies, select 8 or uh, as many as you want. The next step is to create, you know, in other words, first translate and then hold on the shift key again and create their copies once more. This time select the number of copies equal to 1. Again translate this along the x-axis. Let me show you. Here we go. Well, always uplift all the objects uh, just a bit upward from the ground. It will help you in uh, determining the physics of all the objects later while doing the animations well align all the bricks of the wall here we go we created all the bricks of the wall now we are going to give them a color of the bricks like gray and then we are going to give the color to our car red for example now you are done with the drawing portion. The next step is that you have to define the physics and the properties of the all the objects uh, in the scene. Then <coughs> select Control A and select all. Uh, then uh, click on the Create Rigid Body Collection. This would define that all the objects here are rigid in nature. Next step is to define the properties of the object one by one. Select the plane and then select the as it will be inactive and it will be a concave mesh. One concave mesh is uh, needed as per in one scenario. The next step is to determine and uh, change the properties of the bricks. Uh, change their mass to one and uh, bounding box will be the option that will be selected. The next step is to change the objects of a car and it will uh, give the item mass. Uh, I will give it 50, you can give it any mass uh, above 0, unyielding also and unbounding bounding box. Sorry. Okay, now you are done with most of the part. The next step is to that you have to create the animation and you can use. Uh, a facility provided by the 3D Studio Max 9 uh, called the Auto Key. For example, uh, at the 10 second, I want this car to be to translate in this direction. Also, I want it to spin like this. And uh, in the 20th second, I want this car to translate in this direction. I want it to rotate like in this direction. I'm doing this uh, as if to imitate as the driver has lost the control of a car. Like this and bang into the wall. Okay, now see this. This is what I'm going to render at last. Okay, the next step uh, is uh, to select the reactor have work one world make sure your collision tolerance is equal to one and uh, uh, 
uh, preview and animation uh, this is end frame basically it defines the uh, frame uh, up to which your animation is effective or uh, so that there is no useless computation later for example here the last frame is 20 but uh, I would not select it from here because um, the thing is sometimes uh, there, there are also after effects of uh, the animation for example these bricks will fall uh, here and uh, it will not cover in the animation if I select the frame and frame to 20 so uh, the next step is to create animation create, click the create animation button it's done preview in the window uh, press the P button you see we did the animation uh, so uh, and the last step that uh, is very important is the rendering render press F10 uh, select the output size I would like to select HDTV 1280-720 resolution and um, also select the uh, output file for example desktop I will save it uh, new folder tutorials and uh, my first tutorial and select the format AVI standard ok now select the number of frames you want to end frame sorry uh, for example at 65th frame my animation is complete so range from 0 to 65 the next step is to render click the render button it will render start rendering frame by frame so when the rendering portion is complete it's time to view the output tutorials my first tutorial see thanks a lot for viewing my tutorial please visit uh, techtoggle.com and uh, I will be waiting for your feedback.